If you can imagine um, an engineering student in the 60s um, going over to the engineering building in the middle of the night and confronting a magical display with moving objects and a game uh, and being totally mesmerized, you know, flabbergasted, you know, enchanted. Uh, that was my experience with uh, Steve Russell's Space War. I could not imagine a more compelling, wonderful game experience, you know, at that point in time. And uh, it profoundly changed my life. When they were invented, uh, all computers were being made back on the East Coast. There wasn't any computers being made out in California. Yet, all the personal computers came out of California. And part of it was the counterculture, the young people. I moved to California uh, really to pursue an engineering job. Silicon Valley had, in fact, at this point in time, started to build its reputation as a sort of center of, uh, of good technology, of computer technology and things like that. I felt that, that it was important to kind of be at the hub of where things are happening. Nolan Bushnell was never a businessman. Nolan Bush Bushnell was a visionary. And more than that, you know what Nolan Bushnell really was? He was a carny. He was a carnival worker. He had salesmanship. He had charisma. Nolan Bushnell's strength was in recognizing something that is neat. Neat was his word. Um, in the 60s, it was the word would have been cool or groovy, but to him it was neat. He would kind of blue sky ideas and think, and say, you know, it would be neat if somebody could do this or if somebody could do that. So he was a visionary. I think he, he, he came out and he was going to make a success. He was going to make a big splash in the world. And I think when he saw our space war, he, he said, you know what, this is new, this is great. I see it before everyone else does. I'm going to ride this way.